All right, it's Sunday afternoon now. Finally got my ass outside, and it's raining, believe it or not. Uh, not too happy about that. Uh, getting ready to put the plow on the old Z71. Uh, some of you aren't going to like that, but I need a full-size truck on the farm to plow with. I mean, I could have got by with the GMC Jimmy in the 97, but that's going to Glenn, freaking Widowmaker. It's a good truck. There goes my flag. I hate to wreck that truck, so and that's what would happen. I would have kept it here. I would have beat the shit out of it, but I'm gonna beat on this bigger one, and uh, it's got a bigger plow with angles. And that's anyway. That's that. What the video is about. We're gonna cold start this tank right here. It hasn't run, and I think last time I tried to start was when um, buddy Mike. I can't remember MCQ. I think his YouTube name. He was here. I tried to start it right before Christmas or right after. I can't remember. Yeah, I didn't get it going, but anyway, so the carburetor's probably dry, and no choke. A lot of you have seen uh, rat rod cold start and drive, I didn't have choke, and that's why it ran like shit, it wasn't warmed up, but it does need plug wires and a little stuff like that, but I'm going to get work on the little stuff next. Anyway, let's give her. Alright, let's give her here. Oh, it should stay there. I'm not showing my rubber boots while I'm pumping the gas pedal, so you guys can forget it. Make sure we're in park. The fuel pump up there a little bit. Can smell it. more fun than that with your pants on. I always wanted a tank when I was a kid. Never afford it. Can never afford it now. But I have this. Some of you guys might call me a hack over on the Maple Leaf channel. But uh, you know what? It's got a life of its own now. And if I find a second Bren Gun carry, I will restore it. Learned a lot from this one. 
I learned a lot of research on Bren guns before I did this conversion. Anyway, that was awesome, guys. More to come. I get back to the house where the tracks come off. I have to tighten them up. Doing donuts with loose tracks isn't a good idea. Um, I got a couple of track pins fixed on this side. Now they're all loosened up. Should be good to go. All right, so everything in this tank has a, a setup not just quite the way I like it yet. Like temperature gauge. I want to put all the controls on a subframe here. see more Tankenstein rate comment and subscribe let's get tanked oh yeah before I forget this program has been brought to you by friggin Widowmaker Glenn stay tuned wait till I see what I get next <laughs>